Hello and welcome to Snap Tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to tell you how to work with Snap SVG library. First of course you need to download the Snap SVG library and include it into your home page. Like so. You include one file as a script tag. In this example uh, file you can see there is just some styles, some title, the distribution of Snap SVG. There is a SVG file included with, which contains just the pattern. This is for future reference. And here we create the snap uh, canvas, which will be by default 100% per 100%. You could specify different values here, like say 800 per 600. But for the sake of a demo, just leave it like that. We don't need this text anymore. And let's create something. So first of all, of all we will like to create a big circle. And it's as easy as just say uh, circle. And let's make it here with radius 50. Save it, refresh it, and we have our circle. It just doesn't look very exciting. So what we need is to add some attributes, uh, basically change some attributes. So we change the fill. Make it like this. Change the stroke. Make it black. And stroke width. Make it 5. So you will notice it. Refresh it, and now it looks. Oh well, it looks better. Now, let's create another circle. Small circle. This one will be a bit shifted and a bit smaller, like this, good enough. Now let's create a group, we call it disks, and it will be a group which will contain small circle and we contain another circle which will be just like this one except it will be shifted to the right that's how it looks like we have two circles they are in one group now because they are in one group we could operate with them together we could say disks and change fill to be white and they both now white now this is quite obvious thing so far let's do something special let's change another attributes on the big circle so here we will change the mask to be disks So now we're using the disks as a mask for the big circle and big circle now have a different shape so you can't see things which are not exist in the mask. If you ever done it in pure SVG you will know how easy it is now. Just basically saying mask is an attribute equals to disk. Kaboom. Now what we can do, remember this pattern here. Uh, we could actually apply this pattern to the disks instead of white field. So here, instead of having white, we could say, okay, I want to grab the pattern. So I could just say, okay, snap hmm. pattern. It's because this pattern has a nice ID pattern, obviously. Let's take a look. How's that? Yeah, it looks pretty good, isn't it? So we could apply this pattern to the mask and have it <laughs> applied to to our big circle. Now, what about we want to download some existing files? We can do this, so say snap.load and here I have a mask code svg just nearby and when it 
obviously it's asynchronous, so we need to have a function here. So it will give us the fragment. And uh, with the fragment we could say, well, we could say simple like, okay, let's snap append and here fragment dot select g. So this is a basically, I know that everything in the mascot is united in one group, so I just grab this group and append it to the canvas. And here we go, I have this nice crocodile here. As soon as it's happening, let's let's move it to the variable. Sorry for one letter variables, just for sake of saving some time. We still have access to it, so we could say uh, add drag event. B basically, you could you could specify what's happening, what functions are called on each, on drag start, on drag move, on drag end. But by default, it will just make things draggable. This is complex SVG file, but we add it straight away, straight inside our file, and we now can manipulate with it, like, and we could actually manipulate with it before it's added. So let's say I want to find uh, some, let's say I'll do this. So I have this fragment, I go to select, I want to find all the polygons, I have one polygon, which has fill equals a zero nine zero three nine C. Don't ask me how I know. <laughs> and we want to change this. Uh, we want to change the fill to be yellow. Now you see that it only applies to one of the sh uh, green shapes in the, in the crocodile. This is e very easy to fix, you just need to select all. And now our crocodile is yellowish. Well, that's as much as I could say in this short tutorial. There is way more. Please go back to snapsvg.io, refer to documentation, play around and create something awesome. Thank you for watching.